Hello and welcome to week 4 of my short 3 hour marathon training series. My name is Sam and I have been chasing short 3 hour marathon for at least 3 years now. In this week's video, I'll be covering all of my daily training workouts and also answering some questions from my subscribers about long run for marathon training. Things like the long run distance, pace for long run, frequency or how often you should be doing and of course some hints and tips from me for planning your long run. I will definitely make it crystal clear and easily understandable for you. You can still download the free marathon training plan for beginners to advance soft 3 hour marathons right now. The link is in the description down below. And if you missed the training series week 3 video, you can watch it by clicking the link on the info card displayed above. Also guys, the next training series video will be at week 8 now after this one. That means it will be a combination of week 5, 6, 7 and 8. But hey, don't worry, alright? I'll still do weekly videos on so many other short topics that will be helpful to you. Alright then guys, let's dive into the business of today. Okay, how long is your long run supposed to be for your marathon training then? Most courses from around the world suggest that your long run should be anywhere between 16 to 22 miles, depending on your experience, which is roughly 2 to 2.5 hours. All right? Regardless of my experience in ultra marathon and high volume mileage per week, I have never done more than 20 miles for my marathon training. But again, please feel free to go out there and test yourself if you are comfortable with more than 20 miles for your long run training. The rule of thumb is, let's say if you are following 16 weeks training plan, then you should be doing 3 to 5 long run of minimum 16 miles or maximum 22 miles in distance. Obviously try to squeeze in some rest spaces in the middle of your long run like 2 times 5k or 5k and 10k at rest pace. Let's talk about the pace then. Apart from the rest pace that you are throwing in in the middle of your long run, the rest of the mileage has to be at easy or compatible pace, right? Rule of thumb here is add 1 minute per k or 90 to 96 seconds per mile on top of your Go race pace. Okay, how can you recover from your long run then? This is very important guys, alright? You must drink plenty of fluid and some recovery drinks like Tailwind. That's my favorite anyway guys, straight after the long run. Please have a rest or very easy day after your long run. You need to treat your long run as your rest day. Have an easy day before long run day, alright? Select and plan your route before as you are going to practice some rest pace and water stop too. I suggest you pick up well known route and set up water stop for your comfort. Or ask your family member to assist you. Try to run early in the morning or first thing of the day because most of the marathon races are starting around 9 or 10 a.m. in the morning. It is a good idea to get used to with the early morning running. Right then guys, I think it is time to jump into this weekly training series. <laughs> guys how you doing so we are on day one of training series week four it's Tuesday today but I have decided not to run today it's gonna be indoor strength training I'll be doing one strength training and five runs for the rest of my training series weeks it's gonna be 20 second on 10 second off right so it has to be three sets of each exercise three sets of squats with a uh, chest weights, three sets of high knees, three sets of front lunges, three sets of 
mountain climb, three sets of press-ups, and three sets of one-minute plank. Today is the Thursday, 18th of February. It's gonna be easy run today between 8 to 10 miles. Weather looks fantastic today. So it's Friday today, we are on day 4 of week 4, I'm going to do quality workouts today, it's going to be 1 times 5k tempo run, unfortunately weather is not very good, it's very windy with the patchy rain, but I'm going to do what I got to do. So according to my 5k PR, uh, I'm supposed to be doing tempo run at 355 to 4 minutes per k pace, but I'll give a couple of seconds to win. I'm hoping to do between 355 to 405 all the way. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, let's miss my fight. Come on, guys. Let the fun begins. Temper on. Ooh. If I can manage 355 to 405 per K, I'll be more than happy. I think it was. 354 for the first key. Yeah, went a bit fast. Let it slow down a bit. Second lap was also 354, and the total was 349. That's too fast. I just couldn't do the wind correction. I was more worried about the wind. Yeah, I need to slow down a little bit. The fourth lap was 353. So now on last lap, fifth one. I'm on 402. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to keep it to you. Between 355 and 4. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Done. On 350. Last one, 350. Yeah. Wasn't bad. Yeah. I was going to slow down a little bit, but I think the wind was pushing me from behind in the last one. Guys, I think overall it went well. It wasn't really bad. The pace was up and down because I was thinking about wind when you're doing the loops, you know, sometimes you are against the wind, sometimes wind is pushing you from behind. But that's okay, as long as you don't run your tempo run too fast every time, that's fine. It happens sometimes, you know, in the weather condition like this windy, you know, uh, you just have to consider it, all right? Um, I think that's it for today. It's getting dark as well. I think time to jog back home, guys. Hope you already had done your training for today. I will see you tomorrow with some easy run. All right, guys, have a good time. Hey, guys, how you doing? It's already five o'clock in the afternoon here in UK. It's uh, getting dark here, but today is uh, day five of training series week four. It's only gonna be easy run today. So I'm trying to keep it to seven miles or 11k today. So I'm training within my maximum aerobic head start zone today. So it's 155 for me. So I'm not trying to cross 155 at any point. Just trying to keep it between 145 to 155. Hey guys, how are you doing? So we are on day six of training series week four. Of course, it's gonna be long run today. The weather is fantastic today. It's 14 degrees Celsius. So this is a fourth week in a row. Every fourth week is tapering week for me. For tapering week, you normally run only 70 to 80% of your 
total weight of mileage in terms of distance. You still run the same days, like normal weeks, but you just have to reduce the volume to 70 to 80 percent only. That's the rule of thumb. So for me, if it's 50 miles a week I'm doing, then I should only be doing 35 to 40 miles on tapering week. That's the rule of thumb. But it can go slightly over sometimes, but it doesn't matter as long as you don't do it every time, all right? You have to respect your body and also your training plan as well. Discipline, guys, yeah? You need to apply that discipline. Don't be too greedy. So I think I'll have to keep it to 30 miles today. Uh, I'm planning to do 10K easy pace, first 10K and then 10K at marathon race pace, which is 415 per K or 650 mile, minute to mile, sorry. Uh, it's gonna be a slightly up and down, but you need to keep your eyes on the average pace. Has to be 6.15 minute mile or 4.15, all right? You don't really need to do 10K block. You can do 5K and do one easy K in between and then do another 5K. That's how you need to play around with your long run. Day of the week, Sunday is done, guys. Time to jog back home. Got my old one kit back on now. It was 13.2 miles uh, total for today's Sunday's run. Um, so, up to 10k was easy run, and then for the rest of 11 kilometer, I tried to throw in some race space. So, it's between 4 minutes 05 seconds to 4 minutes 14 seconds. I hope this video is helpful to you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. Thank you for watching guys. You have a good day. I'll see you on next episode.